Muyenga has a rich history as one of Kampala's earliest posh residential neighborhoods, dating back to before 1962 when Uganda received its independence. Muyenga is part of the 21 hills that make up Kampala today. Located within Makindi Division, a mere four kilometers from the bustling city center of Kampala, Muyenga boosts a prime location. If you're stepping by for the very first time, I'm Ray Kembabazi. Welcome to my channel Connect with Uganda, where I bring you lots of educative information and real estate and neighborhood tours around this country. So subscribe, like, share and enjoy the video. This area here, the road that goes up is called Zimwe Road and then right here is a mall. And I think that's where we have the Italian supermarket. It's a very common place where you can go and everyone finds you. I think we are going to enter inside and check it out. Or you can see Italian mats. It's like a very popular point. If you're ever lost in Mienga, just tell someone, find me at Italian supermarket and they'll easily find you there. So you can come buy some stuff here like people who live around this is where they'll buy all their items you know like food and stuff so it's like a, a shopping point for the residents of this area this is called tank hill road and i'm going to tell you why it's called tank hill road shortly <laughs> hello and this is called tmt supermarket it's another supermarket so why this is called Tank Hill Road? So in Kampala, we do have Uganda National Water and Sewage Corporation, which is the body in charge of supplying clean water around the city. Because we are right next to Lake Victoria, so the water that we do use around Kampala comes from Lake Victoria. So this is called the wine garage. I think it's a wine tasting place. They have food and things like that here. Yeah. So they will pump the water to Gaba and sanitize it. And then from Gaba, they'll pump it to Muyenga Tank Hills. And then from Muyenga Tank Hill, the water will go all around Kampala City. It will go up to Chira Municipality, that is Wakiso. It will also go all the way to Mukono. So when you say Muyenga Tank Hill, meaning the Tank Hill is somewhere up there. I've never been there, but I hope we can find it. So this is why this particular route it's called Tank Hill Road, but it's also a hill. Like I can see a hill right ahead of me that you have to climb. It's Yamaseni Japanese restaurant. There's also Enduro Coffee. Enduro is a popular coffee brand or coffee restaurant around Kampala. If you are a coffee lover and you ever come to Kampala, Enduro has some of the best coffee. And also Cafe Javas also has like very nice coffee, so those are places you should definitely check out. Recommendations, take notes. Down there, there is a route that, that goes to Hotel Diplomat. It's one of the hotels that have been in Kampala for a very long time. There is a, a very nice view here. A nice and green palm trees along the road. Paradise. Italian cuisine and pizza. So in Muyenga, you should be able to find the views of Lake Victoria because Lake Victoria is super close. So I'll try to find a point where we can get a very nice view of the lake. Muyenga is known for its mix of upscale and cozy restaurants as well as charming residential neighborhoods featuring both classic and modern homes luxurious apartments along with international schools. Muyenga offers a serene green environment that's perfect for its well-to-do residents. I've seen a place here which I think would be cool to check out. Golden Hill Restaurant and Lounge. But since it's on a hill, I'm thinking we might get a good view of the lake. So let's climb up to this restaurant and see what it's all about. 
I got a strawberry smoothie. I think there is blueberries as well. That's what I see, so this is the place. Let's see if it's tasty. <laughs> very nice actually so let me drink the view here is really really beautiful look at that you can actually see the whole of Kampala if you're in Muyenga this is a place to come and check out yeah I'm glad I came the view on the third floor is even better <laughs> look at this you have the whole of Muyenga Muyenga Bukasa I think you can even see like all the way to the city center to Luzira. You can see the Kololo Hill, Naguru Hill. Like there's a lot you can see from this point. So if you're around Mienga, this is a place you can check out to come and have a meal. They have a very nice space as well. So actually it's just a restaurant here. So So this is Tank Hill. This is the point actually <laughs> where the water comes from. But I want the security where you guys see that gate over there. Find out, but they actually don't allow people to enter on the inside, yeah. But this is where like all the water comes from. That's why it's called Tank Hill in Muyenga. But then it's like a residential neighborhood. These are just people's homes. As you see, there is a gate here. It's a very big hill all the way from down. We just keep climbing up here. All the clean water that supplies Kampala City, all the way to Kira, all the way to Mukono. They get it from Victoria down there, which I'm going to show you guys. They pump it up here. No, it first goes to Gawa, then they pump it up here, and then they supply to the city. Because you can see this point is on a high altitude, so it's able to go over to the entire city. So. Tomuyenga is actually one of the expensive neighborhoods. You guys may know that. So right here there is Hotel International 2000 Limited. <laughs> Looks like a very old hotel that has been here for a long time. Because this is also a very old neighborhood by the way. It's one of the first, first residential neighborhoods in Kampala. I've come to another part of Muyenga, which is the residential neighborhood. We take the route on the, on the left, so we can all agree that Muyenga is quite green. It's also not dusty, by the way. Other neighborhoods of Kampala can be dusty, but it's not dusty at all. So the road this side also isn't wide either. The roads are quite narrow, actually, just like any other roads in Kampala. So this person's fence is right in the road, like the fence is right in the road where cars are passing. This particular point here, where the cars literally have to first crawl, you know, because the car road here is quite bad. The cars have to first stop, <laughs> wait for the other one to pass or to come, like it's so narrow. So one has to be very careful. It's quite a narrow road. But let's continue exploring Muyenga. So I've come to a different section, still the residential part of Muyenga, which is mainly people's homes. Actually, this is a gated community. So there is a security guard right behind me. <laughs> I'd first ask him for permission. Yeah, so that I can show you guys where the nice houses are hidden. Yeah, but you can tell all these are nice, beautiful homes full of trees. You can barely see them enclosed in fences. 
Yeah. So this is where the rich people hide in Muyenga. Wow, look at that. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So we are going to walk all the way down. So green. You can also tell that these are not modern houses. Eh? These are houses that were built like back in the day. You know modern style houses, they are very easy to notice. Like they are villa style with a lot of glass. You can tell these are houses which have been here for quite a good number of decades. Very beautiful. I've never been up to this part of Nienga. Look, and here dogs. Lots and lots of palm trees as well. This is a very, very beautiful, exclusive, private yeah, community. When they say the rich live in Bienga, this is what they are talking about. Wow, look at that. This is what they mean. Some nice chairs here. I think these are really cool. Who was the chairs? Uganda. That's his number. Support him. Yeah. Selling construction materials. These are stones for construction. Different kinds of stones. They use this to do finishing on the house. Stone network for all types. You see that? Ooh. Oh my Jesus, guys, I won't lie, I'm tired. Eh? Oh my Jesus, guys, I won't lie, I'm tired. Eh? If you're enjoying the video, give it a like. Let me know if it's worth the sunshine, because today is a very sunny day. This part of Mienga is called Bukasa. I don't know if Bukasa is Mienga, if it's just a neighboring Mienga. But there is this place here where they mine stones. Eh? Oh my freaking God. <laughs> Look at that. This is where all the stones are coming from for construction. You know, it's a huge place. Uh, there is Bokasa Police Post where we just passed behind there. So there's a nice view there. And there is this huge apartment block ahead. So many apartments. It's quite huge. stone work going on up there actually the block also has a pharmacy I think there is a supermarket as well it's a big structure big building it must have a lot of, of tenants or the owners people who are living in here To show you the residential parts of Muyenga Bukasa. This is still Muyenga as well. This is one of the residential neighborhoods or gated community in this area. It also looks very beautiful. At least the roads are done, they are paved, they are well made, there is no dust, it's all clean. Yep, so let's take a walk around. The sun is still on my face, relentlessly, but we have to make the video. <laughs> the sun is still shining, seriously. Seriously. This is a nice neighborhood. And you can also tell that this is not a new estate. It's one that has been here for quite a while. You can tell just by observing how the homes are built. It's not new. Very big open space here. It's a free piece of land. You can see some people seated. There's a beautiful home here right next to it. Today we are exploring. We are exploring this neighborhood. And it's all tamaked, which is really good. Which means the people within the community care enough to make sure that the roads are done. Because 
These roads are not done by the government. The government won't come and make these roads. It's actually the community members who are going to work on them. So many trees. It's called Forest Village. That's the name of the area. I've read on someone's gate, Forest Village. Interesting, because it's like a forest. At least that's the vibe that you get because of the lots of trees. Yeah, Forest Village, Mulunga Bukasa. We are making a turn here so that we can go back up where we are coming from. Beautiful neighborhood, nice homes. How are you? Okay. There is a house for rent as well in Forest Village. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are enjoying this exploration of Muyenga Bukasa. Leave a comment. Let me know. I've actually quite liked it because for as I know Bukasa, I've featured a home around this area. I've never come to this particular neighborhood. It's my first time to actually. So that minibus has school kids. So let's check out another section of this neighborhood, which is this one here. Kind of just walking around. Check out the beauty of this place. It's beautiful. Jewelry. I feel like I'm entering people's homes. <laughs> this seems so, so private. Oh my god. Guys, uh, that is it about Okasa. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Let's go and check out another part of Moyenga. a different vibe now. We've left Muyenga and I've come to Kawalagala. So Kawalagala is right next to Muyenga. It's also a very vibrant, very popular neighborhood full of all kinds of people, different, different nationalities of people in this area. So you guys may know that there are times when Uganda's neighbors have wars or instability in their countries and some of us people come and settle here as refugees or just as immigrants. So you find lots of Somalis, Eritreans, Sudanese, Ethiopians. They like to be around this area. It also has a very vibrant nightlife, by the way. Like the streets of Kavalagala never go to sleep. At 1 a.m., 2 a.m., there are so many hangout areas. And then there are also very many universities, at least like two of them. There is KIU, which is Kampala International University. Then there is another one, I think, in University of East Africa, something like that. They are all here in Kawalagala. It's the junction, which is very chaotic or very busy. So this is Gaba Road. Uh, this route here goes all the way to Gaba. At Gaba you'll be able to see Lake Victoria. Actually, we couldn't see the lake in Muyenga because Muyenga is not very close to the lake. Munyanyo is super close to the lake, Munyanyo and Gaba, and they are right ahead. So if you take that route, there is Munyanyo and then there is Gaba. Obviously, there is Bunga, there is Kansanga. This is Kavalagala, where we are right now. Yeah, so these are the areas. This is like a different part of Kampala. 
Yeah, I haven't shown this on my channel before, by the way. I think it's my it's my first time to show this on my channel. I'm going to end this vlog here. Let me know if you've enjoyed the vlog. I'll give it a like. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so you guys can see the hangout areas I'm telling you. People are playing pool. Let me know if you guys want to see a tour of Kabalagala, Munyonyo or Ogawa. Those are the areas ahead. Leave a comment. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. But it also helps me make better content. So subscribe, it's really important. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.